you can be forgiven for thinking Argentina is all about Lionel Messi. But some would argue that Javier Mascherano in midfield holds equal importance in order for Argentina to progress in Brazil. Remarkably, thanks to his performances at youth level, Mascherano debuted for the senior national team in 2003, before he'd made a single appearance for his club side, River Plate. And ever since, the Argentine midfield has been set up around him. He may have only scored two goals in 92 appearances by the end of 2013, but he offers so much more in his capacity as a holding midfielder. He is brutally tough in his defending, often deployed as a centre-back, but then his crisp passing and decision-making is a solid foundation from which to build attacks. He's one of only two countrymen to win two gold medals at the Olympics, having played in both the 2004 and 2008 Games. Mascherano played every minute of every match during Argentina's run to the quarterfinals of the 2006 World Cup. And in the lead up to the 2010 World Cup, then coach Diego Maradona labelled the Argentine team as Mascherano and 10 others. It was Maradona who summed up Mascherano's style of play best when he appointed him as captain, describing his pure enthusiasm for his team, sweat for it and sacrifice for it. Mascherano certainly does wear his heart on his sleeve. He missed three matches during qualifying due to suspension after seeing red for kicking out at a stretcher bearer. Fortunately, Mascherano's absences during qualification did not harm Argentina's campaign. But if he keeps picking up cards in the World Cup, it could have a serious effect on his team's chances. He's one of numerous players on the Argentine team who know how to win trophies, as evidenced by his haul with Barcelona. New captain Messi gets all the media attention, but if the man he replaced can maintain a level of control, Mascherano will still be as important as anyone, supplying the balance that allows Argentina's collection of attacking talent to do the rest.